Free brains that we've all got. Hello everybody, it's Tom here from Code. I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to discuss about free brains that we all have. Now yes, you heard me right, we've all got free brains. I will un I'll explain what I mean by this very soon. So, free brains. We've all got free centres in our body that communicate with each other and in each way that allow us to sort of disseminate and process information in a way that we can understand okay first and foremost the first brain that we've all got is quite simply known as the brain okay that thing that we all only use 10 percent of supposedly and the thing that processes the messages of information throughout the body millions and billions of messages per second I may add and without it the body just doesn't do anything it won't work basically so anyone that has ever been brain dead is going to have no quality of life sadly so having the center the central nervous system the brain connected to the spinal cord that can help us to disseminate between wrong right also what is fact and what isn't and for us to make decisions choices and everything and also to assess a situation yeah that's the main focus point here but there are two others within the body okay now some would say oh you're a romantic tom and so well, maybe i am Another one is the heart. Now the heart is a very, very vital organ within the human body. As you know, it pumps a lot of blood around. But I'm sure you've all heard the phrase, phrase your heart's not in it, or more, oh, I don't think my heart's in it, or I haven't got the heart. Having the heart, having the love for something, having the desire to do something is a very powerful thing. So... Combine the will of your brain and the intelligence of your brain along with that feeling of going with something in your heart. That is a powerful combination. So there's definitely another brain, shall we say, another central point within the body that will allow you to go through life and do the things that you want to do and do them well, I may add. If your heart's in something... It's that extra 20, 30, 40% that's going to give you that boost to get the job done, okay? Absolutely. It's good to have your heart in something. And some say lead with your heart and go with your heart. And going with your heart and leading with your heart can lead, surprisingly, to some very nice destinations, I may add. Yeah? Some happy times within your life will be from taking the decision from the heart rather than the brain actually feeling what it is that you want and feeling the enjoyment of it and making it part of your heart center third and final century center brain if you like which all speaks to the free some would say if you're in the spiritual community this is your intuition is your gut if something doesn't feel right you feel it in your gut 100% you do, okay? I'll never forget years ago when I was in school, I used to really struggle with uh, maths. I was really, really bad at it. So bad, in fact, my dad paid private tuition for about five years for me to get through my secondary education, my high school, if you like, and to make sure I qualified with a decent score in maths. In my last exams, I got through and I did very well, but I did well because of my dad's investment in extra classes, which helped me. But I was always told by one of my maths teachers in school 
If you're not sure about something, you go with your gut. And 100% you can relate this to any situation within life. Your gut can be an indicator as to whether something is off or not. Like you would feel as if you'd had something that disagreed with you. Intuitively you can feel sometimes if something is not right. And I'm here to tell you today, trust your gut. Okay, Trust your gut. If something doesn't feel right, something doesn't feel like it's that it is fitting and your gut says no, go with that feeling. Along with your heart, that can also be an indicator as to whether or not something is worth pursuing or whether or not your heart's in it. And then all, equally, the last one, obviously, is the brain, which makes sense of all of the external feelings, should we say. Guys, these are your three brains. We've all got them. Some of us utilise them all. Some of us don't utilise them as much. I'm here to tell you, your body, your brain... These elements of your body can sense wrong, they can sense right, they can give you fantastic sort of intuition. Go with it, trust it, trust yourself, trust your gut, trust your heart and trust your brain. And if they all, all three of those things working together, you're going, to be good. you're going to be absolutely fine. This is my first of three videos this week. I want to thank you all ever so much for being here. I really appreciate your time and energy spent here on my channel. Thank you kindly. First of three, as I said, put down in the comment section below. What do you know of these three brain centres? Do you feel that they serve you or they don't? Are you going to be trying to trust your gut and your heart a little bit more along with what's in your head? Are you somebody that is so practically minded, so very much about their, you know, what's in their head that they wouldn't even go outside of it? It's totally fine if you're that way. I can understand why people with high intelligence would question anything outside of it. 100% I can. Remember, remember to hit that subscribe button down below. Leave me a thumbs up and a like. And let's hear that bell sign go ding dong. So you know my next content's out. Until then guys. I want to say thank you all ever so much for being here. I will be back in a couple of days with my next video. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.